When using an Apple Macintosh computer, typically you will just allow macOS to automatically load when you start it up. However, there are certain circumstances where you might want to choose what your Mac loads. A prime example of this is if you want to boot your computer using a USB flash drive. This may be to either reinstall macOS or to try out a distribution of Linux on your computer. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can load the startup options screen from a computer that is running on Apple Silicon hardware. First, we need to shut down our computer. As Apple Silicon is so new, at the time of posting this video, there are currently no Linux distributions that will run on this model of Mac. So to better demonstrate what you can expect to see on the startup options screen, we're going to plug a USB flash drive that contains a bootable instance of macOS installer into our computer. If we now press and hold down the power button on our Mac for roughly 20 seconds, or until our display shows us a message saying loading startup options, eventually we will be presented with the startup options screen. As you can see, within the startup options screen, we are presented with three icons. Install macOS Big Sur, Macintosh HD, and Options. The Install macOS Big Sur icon represents the bootable flash drive that we just plugged into our computer. So if we were to select it, it would start the macOS installer, which is stored on our flash drive. The Macintosh HD icon represents the internal storage of our computer. So if we were to select this icon, our computer would simply reboot and then run the version of macOS that is currently installed on our internal storage. Finally, we have the options icon, which gives us access to a number of troubleshooting tools that can help us to repair or reinstall macOS. To choose any of these startup options, if we use our mouse pointer to select an icon, a continue button will appear. If we were then to select that continue button, our computer will then try and boot that option. However, as this is only a demonstration, and we wish to have our computer start normally, at the bottom of the startup options screen, we have two commands, shutdown and restart. If we were to select shutdown, our computer will simply switch itself off. Then the next time that we switch on our computer, it will load the instance of macOS that is stored on our computer's internal storage. The restart option basically does the same thing as the shutdown option, but instead of switching off our computer, it will reboot the computer and then load the version of macOS stored on our computer's internal storage.